Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Laurel Park here on Monday. It is January the 8th, 2018. I'm going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Laurel, races 7 and 8. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. I'm going to look at the featured 7th and 8th race from Laurel, so let's get on to it here on this special Monday program. Um, the weather here on the East Coast uh, has been absolutely terrible the last two weeks or so, um, but this week it's going to really warm up. We're getting a heat wave, uh, so to speak. Um, it's going to be about, uh, here in New York City, we're going to get up to 50 degrees on uh, on Friday, which is going to be nice, so Aqueduct will definitely run this week. Um, you know, looking at the weather report for the rest of the month, you know, I think we're pretty good because we're not going to get a really cold front for quite a while, um, but um, hopefully the Laurel is definitely going to run tomorrow, so it's going to be pretty nice down there too, looking at the weather report, but seven and eight, the races I'll be looking at, so let's get on to it, starting off a race number seven from Laurel, which is the 38 Go-Go Stakes Purse, $100,000, it's Philly the Mayor's four year olds and upwards, field up 13 horses, going the distance of ground here of 1,600 meters, if you want to go by that, or one mile on the Laurel main track, and I show the diagram, it just gives me a second to look down at my notes, just bear with me, remember they uh, finish at the second finish line, which is, you know, right at the turn, so if you ever look at the uh, the Laurel races, this, the second finish line is basically um, right there, that would be the turn, basically, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, I don't know how safe that really is when you're going, you know, with a finish line right there, but um, hope, hopefully it's somewhat safe. But um, my topic in this race, I like the number six horse, Bishop's Pond. Gonna go six eleven four in the TriCast of the trifecta. Six eleven four TriCast trifecta. Top pick number six, Bishop's Pond. Six to one. Uh, John Service trains a six-year-old mare by Curlin. Um, Rosario Martinez gets the leg up. Uh, most recently, this horse had to start the twenty-fifth, twenty-fifth of November. My birthday at Aqueduct, a mile sixteenth in the Forever Together stage. Horse by fifth by three and a half lengths from the inside. This horse set the pace early on, and then just kind of hit the wall in the, uh, you know, in the final few strides of the race. You know, it, it just wasn't his day to win. That was a t tough race. I think coming here back to dirt, uh, not nearly as tough horses. This horse run a very big one. Uh, start before in the Bell Dame Invitational, another very tough race. The Grade One Bell Dame Invitational, Belmont Park, Mile Eighth. Good going. It's time of the thirtieth. Horse finished fifth by ten and quarter lengths. Was dueling early on, and then just kind of gave away. Just wasn't his day. To win, um, and then the starter allowance race 40,000 at Delaware Mile 70, September the 11th. Horse won by four lengths. That was the last reasonable race this horse actually ran in where he could actually win. Won very easily on the front end all throughout. A very easy race for this horse. And then the Robert Dick Memorial at Delaware Mile 3 8 on the turf July the 8th. Horse finished eighth by three and three quarter lengths. Was setting the pace early on. Hit the wall badly. They've been trying this horse out in late 2016 and in sometimes 2017. Um, you know, marathon distances on the, uh, on the turf. Um, you know, she, she has one going on the marathon distances on races where there's no pace, but, uh, personally, I think this horse should do a lot better going a mile. Coming to dirt today, I think she'll run a big one. At 6-1, to one, I'll take my chances, so watch out for her. So to recap my bets for the 7th from Laurel, it's the 38 Go-Go Stakes. Gonna go with the 6-horse Bishop's Pond. Gonna go 6 11, 4 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number 8 from Laurel. The 8th race, it's the Dave's Friend Sticks. Purse $100,000, it's for 4-year-olds and upwards. Field of a dozen horses. Great field size for these stakes races. A dozen horses going the 1,200-meter trip. Or 6 furlongs on the Laurel Main Track. Six furlongs, 1,200 meters, if you want to go by that. My top pick in this one, I like the number seven horse here. Number seven, who is ready for rye. Going to go 735 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. 735, TriCast, Trifecta. Top pick number seven, ready for rye. Five to one. Tom Albatroni is on this, uh, trains this uh, six-year-old gelding by City Zip. Edgar Prado, the veteran, gets the leg up, making his Laurel debut with, uh, ready for rye. But uh, most recently, his horse size starts 23rd November, Thanksgiving at Aqueduct. Six furlongs in the Grade 3 Fall Highway Handicap. The horse finished fourth by three lengths that day, excuse me. You know, it was just stalking early on, got the lead in the stretch, and then, you know, kind of weakened out of it around the eighth pole. Um, had high weight of 128 pounds, which is not ideal. Um, last two fall high weights, this horse had high weight, and, uh, you know, it just really couldn't keep up with them at the end. Today, only carrying 120 pounds, which I think is a great weight in this spot. I think this horse will run a lot better of a run. Start before the 7th of October. 
in the Belmont Six Frogs in her turf course in the Belmont Sprinting Championship. Horse finished second by one and a quarter lengths. You know, just stalked that day, but really couldn't. Disco Partner was just a great, had a great run on the lead. You know, great closing kick and all around great race. This horse just really couldn't keep up, uh, keep up with him that day. And then the Lucky Coin Restrictor Race at Saratoga Five Night Frogs at Mellon Turf Course, September the first. Horse finished fifth by four lengths that day. You know, just really didn't show up. But um, I like this horse's dirt runs. They, you know, he 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 has some very nice dirt runs in the past. Um, most recent victory came around the mud at Belmont. Six and a half furlongs, June the 18th, optional lady claimer. Horse won by one and a quarter lengths. Broke on top, set to pace most of the race, and just had a very easy victory. I think here at 5-1, to one, you know, this horse should run a big one, so watch out for him. So to recap my bets for the 8th from Laurel's Dave's Friend Stakes. Going to go with the 7 horse. Going to go 7-3-5 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So go left to one. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 Good luck at everyone.